so today I'm filming a chit chat get ready with me video because I haven't sat down and talked to you guys in a while. Um, a, just because I haven't been putting up videos, but B, just because like I wanted to talk to you guys, get on a personal level and not like be like specifically talking about a certain video. Um, yes, yeah, sorry, I'm a slouch right now, my hair looks ratchet, but I, I wanted to do this and just kind of be like casual and yeah, all at the same time. So, yes. So, if you are new to my channel, my name is Gracie. Um, I am 15 years old and I make videos like this and just random videos and anything that I want to make. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. The um, I'll have an annotation right here on the screen. But if you're on your phone, then you can just scroll down and click the little subscribe button. It just basically notifies you when I upload my videos. Um, and you can be a part of my family because I love you and I love everybody and I don't know. I love you guys so much and yeah if you want to see how I did this makeup and look like this at the same time meaning hair and outfit then I mean just keep watching so I want to start off by saying I'm sorry that I look so like slouchy I just wanted to kind of like be comfortable as I'm talking to you guys and filming this but yes this is what I look like with no makeup on yes my hair is clean it's just like freshly blow dried and not all the way blow dried but um yeah so don't think that it's dirty because I literally just washed it but I didn't feel like straightening it so this is where we are as I like do this I'm gonna like go over like products that I'm using with you and how I feel about them without like, I'm also gonna be like talking about life with you guys I already um, washed my face with the um, philosophy like purity facial cleanser whatever and then I didn't moisturize because I feel like when I, if I moisturize, like, my face just gets super oily throughout the day. So I need to find a moisturizer that's not, like, that's for, like, combination skin. Because, like, I feel like my face isn't oily everywhere. Um, it's just kind of, kind of, like, oily, like, right through here. And then sometimes I'll get oily on my forehead. So kind of, like, in my T-zone, but not really. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But, yes, I need to find that. But as of right now, I found that it's just best if I don't moisturize my skin, which probably is not the best for it but it's just what's working for me right now um so first I'm starting out with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup um I actually just started using foundation I've ever not I've never actually used foundation and went out and gone somewhere and like I don't know did stuff but um I decided I don't know I wanted to start using foundation because I used my sisters one time and I really liked it so I mean I've been using it lately and it's been great uh, I used to do this with my beauty blender but then I found that I really liked the way that it looked when I just used my fingers so I mean that's just what works best for me so I'm just gonna tap this around my face I just put some on the lid and I just work it around my face like that just put dots everywhere and if you can't tell, my forehead is already, like, way darker than the rest of my face. And I really don't know why. Um, I guess just because the sun hits right there. But, um, yeah. So, never does it really, like, in person, it is way less noticeable than it is on camera. I don't know. Like, you can just notice it way more, like, in my videos and stuff. So, I know that you guys are probably like, wow, your forehead is so orange. Or you look orange. Um... I mean, it just looks that way in person a lot. I mean, it looks that way on camera a lot more than it looks that way in person. Like, in person, I don't look orange at all. Like, right now, I look pretty orange because I haven't blended it out yet. But I won't eventually. And this might actually be a little bit too dark for me as we go because I have um, gotten lighter, obviously, because the weather is changing. So I'm not as tan as I was when I bought this. But, I mean, I've been making it work, so we're just going to make it work for this video as well. Um, so, yeah. I've just been kind of having, like, a laid-back, chill kind of day. I don't know what time it is. It is 12.09. By the way, I got a new phone. I got the um, iPhone 6S in rose gold, and I love it, honestly. I've only... I had the 5 before this, and, I mean, my new phone is great. If you guys want me to do a what's on my iPhone success, thumbs up this video and give me a comment below because I will definitely do that for you guys. My iPhone is pretty much the exact same as my last one. Um, I mean, there's a few different things about it, but 
I just kind of like backed up my phone to that one so it's not too too different I kind of put way too much which usually I use everything that's on there but like I feel like my face is already like whoa so I need to I'm gonna put a little bit on my neck and I tried when I very first got this the first thing that I used was a brush but like I noticed that it was so streaky and I could never get it to where it blended in and didn't like and it looked natural and it didn't look super like I could see every line that I made with my brush you know and you couldn't really tell as much on my face but definitely you could really tell on my neck so I just started using my beauty blender which looked great and gave a great finish but it just kind of like takes too long to have to tap all the time and so my fingers they work and I'm really upset that I'm wasting all of this but it's okay I mean it's my fault I did it there's no taking it back now my eyebrows, by the way, need to be waxed super bad. I really can't tell how orange I look on this camera. I promise I won't look this orange by the end. I promise. I've also been using the corresponding Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. But this went by so fast. Like, I can sometimes scrape it off the sides and get some off. So I'm going to try to use it. And, um, and usually I can get a good amount just by scraping it. But, like, it goes by so fast. But, yeah, I just apply it in a triangle like this. Um, yeah. Oh, guys, how excited are you that it is finally October? Because I'm so excited. It's been, like, in the 60s and 70s here in Alabama. And, um, well, and, yeah. So, it's felt really great. Um, I haven't broken out the Uggs yet just because I kind of feel weird, like, already wearing them but a lot of people are and I don't judge you for that but like I don't know like I just feel like it could be colder obviously it could always be colder but I don't know I just I'll probably end up wearing them sometime soon but as of right now I have not yet um and I definitely am an Uggs person I don't care if people think that they're ugly they're the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn and they honestly keep you so warm and I mean I'm for them are you for Uggs let me know because I so am. Okay. Now, I just want to talk about people, like, a lot. I get the question, like, how do you deal with hate a lot? And I honestly don't get, so, I don't get really any hate on my videos. Like, comments and stuff, you guys are also supportive of me. Every once in a while, I'll get, like, a comment, like, oh my gosh, you don't know how to do makeup. Um, but, I mean, like, honestly, I don't take any of it to heart because... Obviously, you cannot have a YouTube career or even have, like, a career in life if you're going to let haters bother you because, I mean, then you're, you're going to have them no matter if you're Beyonce or if you just go to school in a small town and you have a YouTube channel like me. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I just wouldn't worry about it. But what bugs me is, like, the people that know you have a YouTube and act so supportive about you about it and I don't know like they're just normal with it and then randomly one day like they try to show out in front of their friends or like they just like want to make you feel bad about yourself and so they're like um honestly this happened the other day and we were talking about how I just got the new phone and um it was literally the first phone that I haven't had to pay for I paid for um my other phones that I've gotten like I paid for my five and I paid for my four, and those are, I, like those are the only three phones that I've had. Um, I had like a BlackBerry when I was in like fourth grade, but um, and I didn't have to pay for that. But it didn't have internet or anything. The only thing I could do on it was text and call people. So this is the first phone that I haven't had to pay for, and it was for my birthday. And obviously, like if that's what I picked out to get for my birthday, then I mean so be it. But um, I had um a uh, it was actually a guy who's always been normal, like, never really brought up my YouTube or anything. And he was like, um, when we, when we said, like, that I got my phone, and he was like, when did you get it? And I was like, well, yeah, I got it the day that it came out. Like, I had already pre-ordered it, so it just came the day that it came out. Um, and then the guy was like, I was talking to, like, a group of people because they were all asking me. And the guy was like, um, I'm Gracie, and I have a YouTube channel, and, um... Um, in the fall I show you what's in my bag and sometimes I have this and sometimes I have that and I make morning routines and blah 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 and like he was basically just like mocking me and like it just made me really mad 
And I mean, I just kind of like walked away from the situation. I didn't say anything. And um, of course, people try to come up to me and be like, why are you mad at me? And I'm like, I'm not mad at you. I just don't want to be, I don't care to be in your conversation anymore because obviously it wasn't a conversation that was in my favor. And so I didn't want to be in it. So, I mean, yeah. And I really don't hold grudges, but I just think that that's annoying. But, um, yeah, I just set my concealer with the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder and then just went over my whole face with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Blush in Stubborn. And I'm just using that with my Sigma F40 brush. I need a mirror. But, yeah. Um, so, I know a lot of people are going to ask me if I got my hair pink. No, this is fake. I did actually get a strip of my hair pink a while back. See, it's like that faded color right there. Um, just because my sister wanted to do it to me because she's in cosmetology school. And they just learned how to do, like, streaks and stuff. So, um, yeah. And then we just got this fake, these fake ones for my um, school cheer team. Because they just do that. And, like, we cheer with, like, pink pom-poms and pink socks and stuff. So, yeah, it's really fun. And so if you're asking, if you're wondering, it's fake. It's just, like, one of those ones that attach into your hair with like a bead and they like clamp down on it you know what I mean maybe maybe um okay now I'm gonna go on to eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia dip brow pomade in blonde you know how people say like that they have like like eyebrows are sisters not twins because they're obviously not gonna be exactly identical yeah well um I got cousins because my eyebrows r n really never look the same I just kind of do it and don't worry about it. So, I mean, it's whatever. But, um, yeah, if you want an actual eyebrow routine, I can do that. But, I mean, I pretty much just make the shape and then fill it in. Um, now I'm using the um, Becca highlighter or skin, shimmering skin perfecter in opal. And this is the most gorgeous gorgeous highlight I've ever owned and I'm using the same brush that I did to set my under eyes but that's okay because I mean I just picked it up and I didn't really care I need to wash my brushes anyways and like I don't know if you can t see that but like honestly highlight on fleek yes now I'm gonna move on to eyes I haven't been wanting I haven't been doing anything too crazy to my eyes lately I'm actually not even going anywhere today I just really wanted to film a video because I haven't in a while and it's been really making me upset but I literally have no time in my life it's just so hard to work it all in I have cheer practice almost every day we're not supposed to have it on Wednesdays but we usually do anyways because um like we'll be behind on signs or something and it sucks because like those are uh, Sundays and Wednesdays are obviously the, the days that I film I don't know. I've just been out of it lately, and it sucks. But, yeah, I just put this um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer in my crease using the Sigma E40 um, tapered blending brush. And now I'm going to apply some eyeliner. I'm using the Maybelline Masterpiece by iStudio. I'm actually not going to do this on camera because I can't do that. So I'm going to go over here. So I'm going to set up pretty bad, but, I mean, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. Um, just making a few videos for the whole world to see. Uh, I usually use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but I wanted to try this new mascara, so I got some yesterday. It's the Maybelline um, Colossal Lash. The picture of this girl's eyelashes is crazy, but I've seen some people on YouTube use it, and it doesn't turn out like the crazy girl's eyelashes. But, um, yeah, I wanted to try it, so I'm gonna. Right here, first impression. So I'm just going to, just kidding, I was going to curl my eyelashes, but I don't have an eyelash curler in here, so we're just going to go for it. So obviously this isn't going to get the full effect, but that's okay. I don't know. Do you see that? My eyeliner looks awful, please don't pay attention to them, but I don't know. Can you tell? Can you see it? I don't know. can't tell if it's in focus or not. The only thing about like such big ones is that when you go to do your lower lashes, like it just gets everywhere. Same way with my Better Than Sex. I clean it up sometimes. Most of the time, I just leave it there and don't worry about it. But, um, yeah. I'm actually going to go in my um, crease with the Naked 2 Basics with this Frisk color. It's like a grayish color. And just kind of put that in my crease as well because I feel like they need a little bit more definition. Now onto lips. 
I'm going to start out with the MAC Prep and Prime lip primer thing. And just put this on my lips and let it set in a little bit before I put on my lip liner and lipstick. I don't really know if this works because I've never used the MAC lipstick without it. Um, but one day I might do that. But I mean, as of right now, it makes it go on pretty smooth, not cracky or anything. And it's really moisturizing when you have a, a matte lipstick. So I'm going to be using the MAC um, Lip Pencil and Soar. This is, like I showed her a picture of a lip duo that I really liked. And um, then I'm using the MAC Viva Glam 2 lipstick. And it's a satin finish, but it's pretty matte. Um, so, yes, that's what I really like about it because I don't really like shiny lip colors. I also got this one yesterday from Maybelline. I think there's literally no label on it that says if it's Maybelline or not. And yeah, that's it. Obviously right there, the big one. And then I'll swatch the MAC one for you because I haven't seen how similar they are because I usually always end up getting like the same exact color. Okay, they're different. They're different. We're good. Oh, actually they're pretty similar, but this one's just a little bit darker. Okay, so I went over it a few times so you would be able to tell the difference of the two. But this is the MAC. This is the... Um, Maybelline and yeah they're really pretty and they are different they look a lot different on camera but um yeah I love them they can both go with that same lip liner but I think I'm still gonna go with the MAC one for right now so I'm just going to line my lips real fast I'm not a pro with this I just started doing it when I got this so don't judge me I feel like I'm too heavy-handed when I line my lips but I mean, I just still go f go with it. Because if I used a lighter hand, I feel like they wouldn't be the outline of my lips at all. Like, it'd just be, like, all scribbles. Okay, there's that. I mean, you can always go out like this. And then I'm gonna go... I like the look that the, um, lip liner gives because it obviously goes from, like, light to dark. And I just really like that. But, um... Yeah, that's the look. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I just wanted to be able to talk to you guys a little bit about things that annoy me, about school, and I mean, just everything. I mean, I didn't talk too, too much, but yeah. If you have any questions about the products that I use, just give me a comment below. Like, what lipstick did you use? I didn't hear you. Um, just, I'll, I'll let you know. So, yeah, I'll try my best to comment back to all of you. I love you so much. Bye!